Where Oxford school shooter Ethan Crumbly is in court today for his sentencing hearing, he shot and killed four students dead at his high school two years ago. Rachel Ramsey has been following today's emotional hearing. She's here for you now with the story. Rachel. Here, uh, before the shooter is sentenced, victim impact statements are being shared, and that's what's going on right now. Last year, Crumbly pled guilty to 24 charges, including one count of terrorism and four counts of first-degree murder. He faces life in prison without the possibility of parole after a judge ruled that the sentence was appropriate, despite his age of 15 when the shooting occurred. Court officials expect impact statements will take quite a while today, as many have things they want to say. The hearing started at 9, students injured during the shooting spoke about their memories from that day and all the ways it has affected them and family members of those killed are urging the judge to give the shooter a life sentence without parole. His blatant lack of human decency and disturbing thoughts on life in general do not in any way warrant a second chance. My son doesn't get a second chance and neither should he. This individual has proven by carrying out these heinous and completely unnecessary acts of violence that he should never consider, be considered fit to rejoin a society that despises this exact behavior. You made an intentional plan to shatter lives. Because I came within your line of sight, you intended to kill me. Someone you didn't even know. Tonight we'll have more on what was said during victim impact statements and we'll bring you the judge's sentence. Back to you.